Learning English is like a journey. It starts with small steps. Each word you learn is a step forward. When I first started, I felt lost, but then I remembered a quote. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This helped me stay strong. At first, I didn't know many words. I was shy. I thought, how can I speak when I know so little? But I kept trying. I would repeat words I heard. I would say them aloud. Slowly, I felt better. One day I met a friend. She said, learning a new language is like learning to play a musical instrument. You need to practice every day. This made me think. I started to practice more. Every morning, I would listen to English stories. I would repeat the sentences. It was like a song to me. The rhythm of English started to flow in my mind. Sometimes I made mistakes, but that's okay. Mistakes are like small bumps on the road. They may slow you down, but they don't stop you. I remember a story my teacher told me. There was a boy who was learning to ride a bike. He fell many times, but each time he fell, he got back up. In the end, he learned to ride. The same goes for English. If you fall, get back up and keep trying. I used to watch English movies with subtitles. It was fun. I could see the words on the screen. I would pause the movie and repeat the sentences. It felt like I was talking with the actors. It was a simple trick, but it helped me a lot. My favorite memory is from a day I spent in the park. I was sitting on a bench reading a book. A little girl came to me. She asked, What are you reading? I smiled and showed her the book. She sat beside me and we started to read together. It was a simple English book. We read it slowly, word by word. That day I learned that sharing makes learning easier. There was another time when I went to a small cafe. The menu was in English. I was nervous. I didn't know what some words meant but I took a deep breath and asked the waiter for help. He explained the menu to me. I felt happy. It was a small victory, but it meant a lot. I often think about a quote I read, Little by little, one travels far. Learning English is like this. You don't need to rush. Take it step by step. Each day, learn a new word. Each week, Try a new sentence. Before you know it, you will be speaking fluently. I used to keep a small notebook. In it, I wrote new words I learned. Every night before going to bed, I would read those words. It was like a bedtime story for me. This simple habit helped me remember words better. When I first started speaking English, I was scared. I thought people would laugh at me, but I soon realized that people are kind. They understand that learning is hard. One day, I met an old man in the park. He was reading a book. I sat beside him and started talking in English. My words were not perfect, but he smiled and listened. He told me, It's not about being perfect. It's about trying. His words stayed with me. Another memory I have is from a trip I took. I went to a city where everyone spoke English. At first I was nervous, but then I started to talk to people. I asked for directions, ordered food, and even made new friends. It was an amazing experience. I learned that the best way to learn a language is to use it. Don't be afraid. Speak as much as you can. A friend once told me, 
Learning English is like planting a tree. It takes time, but the fruit is sweet. I love this quote. It reminds me that patience is key. Sometimes it feels like you are not improving, but if you keep going, you will see progress. There was a time when I felt stuck. I wasn't learning new words. I was repeating the same mistakes. I felt frustrated, but then I remembered another quote. Every day may not be good, but there is something good in every day. I started to look for small wins. Maybe I learned one new word that day, or maybe I understood a sentence better. These small wins kept me motivated. I also found that surrounding myself with English helped a lot. I changed the language on my phone to English. I started listening to English songs. I watched English videos online. It was like I was living in an English-speaking world. This immersion made learning easier and more fun. Sometimes I would talk to myself in English. It sounds funny, but it worked. I would stand in front of a mirror and speak. I would pretend I was talking to someone. This practice helped me gain confidence. I remember a teacher who once said, the more you practice, the better you get. He was right. Every day, I would practice speaking, listening, reading, and writing. It wasn't always easy, but I kept going. Slowly, I started to see improvement. One day, I received a letter in English. At first, I was scared to open it, but when I did, I was surprised. I could understand most of it. It was a proud moment for me. I realized that all my hard work was paying off. Learning English has also taught me the value of patience. There were times when I wanted to give up, but then I would remind myself, good things take time. This simple thought kept me going. I used to struggle with pronunciation. Some words were hard to say, but I didn't give up. I would repeat the words again and again. I would listen to how native speakers pronounced them. Slowly, my pronunciation improved. I also started to write in English. At first, it was just small notes, but then I started to write longer sentences. Writing helped me organize my thoughts. It also helped me remember words better. One of the best tips I got was to think in English. This was hard at first. My mind would automatically switch to my native language, but with practice, I started to think in English. This made speaking easier. I also learned the importance of setting small goals. Instead of trying to learn everything at once, I focused on one thing at a time. One week, I would focus on learning new words. The next week, I would practice speaking. This method worked well for me. There was a time when I felt shy about my accent. I thought it was a problem. But then a friend told me, your accent is a part of who you are. It's your identity. This made me feel better. I realized that having an accent is not a bad thing. It's a sign that you are learning a new language. I also found that learning with others helped a lot. I joined a small English group. We would meet once a week and practice speaking. It was fun, and I learned a lot from my friends. One of my favorite quotes is, Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. This quote reminds me that it's okay to make mistakes. What matters is that you keep going. I also discovered that learning English can be fun. I started to play word games in English. 
I would do crosswords, word searches, and puzzles. These games made learning new words exciting. Sometimes I would listen to English podcasts. I liked to listen while doing other things like cooking or cleaning. It was a great way to learn without feeling like I was studying. Another trick I used was to label things in my house with English words. I would put a label on the fridge, the table, and even the door. This way, I was constantly surrounded by English. I also started to read English books. I began with simple books like children's stories. Slowly, I moved on to more difficult books. Reading helped me learn new words and understand sentence structure. I remember a day when I had to give a small speech in English. I was so nervous, but I practiced a lot. When the day came, I spoke slowly and clearly. People clapped when I finished. It was a big moment for me. I realized that all my hard work was worth it. Another tip that helped me was to watch English TV shows. I would watch with subtitles at first, but as I got better, I turned off the subtitles. This helped me improve my listening skills. I also found that keeping a journal in English was useful. Every night I would write about my day. It was a simple activity, but it helped me practice writing. Sometimes I would challenge myself. I would try to speak in English for an entire day. It was hard, but it was a great way to practice. I also learned that it's important to be kind to yourself. Learning a new language is not easy. It's okay to take breaks and relax. Just remember to keep going. One day, I met a person who was also learning English. We became study partners. We would practice together, correct each other, and learn from each other. This was very helpful. I also started to listen to English music. I would sing along to the songs. It was a fun way to practice pronunciation. Another memory I have is from a day when I was trying to write an email in English. I was stuck on one sentence. I didn't know how to say what I wanted to say, but I didn't give up. I looked up the words I needed, and slowly I finished the email. It felt like a big achievement. One of the most important things I learned is to stay positive. There will be days when you feel like you're not making progress, but don't give up. Keep practicing, and you will improve. I also found that it helps to set a regular study time. Every day at the same time, I would practice English. This routine helped me stay focused. Sometimes I would talk to my family in English. It was a little strange at first, but it was good practice. They were very supportive. And it made learning more fun. I also learned that it's okay to ask for help. If you don't understand something, ask someone to explain it. People are usually happy to help. One of the best pieces of advice I received was to be patient. Learning a new language takes time. You won't become fluent overnight, but if you keep working at it, you will get there. I also discovered that learning English opened many doors for me. I could communicate with more people, understand more things, and even get better job opportunities. I once read a quote that said, The best way to predict your future is to create it. This quote motivated me to keep learning. I knew that if I kept working hard, I could achieve my goals. Another thing that helped me was to set small, achievable goals. For example, I would set a goal to learn five new words each week. Reaching these small goals gave me a sense of accomplishment. 
I also found that using English in real-life situations helped a lot. Whether it was ordering food, asking for directions, or chatting with a friend, using English in everyday life made me more comfortable with the language. One time I was at a store, and the cashier spoke to me in English. I understood everything she said, and I was able to reply without hesitation. It was a small moment, but it made me realize how much I had improved. I also started to watch English news. At first, it was hard to understand everything, but with time, I got better. Watching the news helped me learn new words and understand how they are used in context. Another tip I found useful was to repeat what I heard. If I heard a sentence in English, I would repeat it out loud. This helped me remember the sentence structure and improve my pronunciation. I also found that it's important to celebrate small victories. Every time I learned a new word or understood a difficult sentence, I would take a moment to feel proud of myself. I once read that learning a language is like building a house. You start with the foundation, which is basic words and phrases. Then you add walls, which are sentences. Finally, you add the roof, which is fluency. This analogy helped me understand the process of learning English. I also learned that it's okay to make mistakes. In fact, making mistakes is part of the learning process. Each mistake is a chance to learn something new. I remember a time when I was speaking English with a friend, and I used the wrong word. My friend corrected me, and I was able to remember the right word from then on. It was a valuable lesson. I also started to use English in my daily thoughts. Instead of thinking in my native language, I tried to think in English. This helped me become more comfortable with the language. Another thing that helped me was to immerse myself in English as much as possible. I would listen to English radio, read English books, and even change the language on my phone to English. One of my favorite memories is from a time when I was able to help someone else learn English. They asked me for help with a sentence, and I was able to explain it to them. It felt great to be able to share what I had learned. I also found that setting aside time each day to study was important. Even if it was just ten minutes, those minutes added up over time and made a big difference. I once read a quote that said, Don't watch the clock. Do what it does. Keep going. This quote motivated me to keep practicing, even when it felt like I wasn't making progress. I also discovered that learning English was not just about studying. It was about using the language in real life. Whether it was talking to friends, watching movies, or reading books, using English every day helped me improve. Another thing that helped me was to keep a positive attitude. There were times when I felt discouraged, but I reminded myself that learning a new language is a journey, not a race. I also found that it was helpful to review what I had learned. Every week, I would go back and review the words and phrases I had studied. This helped reinforce my learning. One of the best tips I received was to practice speaking as much as possible. Whether it was with friends, family, or even just by myself, practicing speaking helped me become more confident. I also learned that it's important to stay motivated. I would set goals for myself, like learning a new word each day or finishing a book in English. These goals kept me focused and gave me something to work towards. I once heard a quote that said, 
Success is the sum of small efforts, repeated day in and day out. This quote reminded me that every little bit of practice counts. Even if it doesn't seem like much, it all adds up over time. I also found that it was helpful to be patient with myself. There were times when I wanted to learn everything quickly, but I realized that learning takes time. It's important to be patient and keep practicing. One of the most important things I learned is that learning English is a journey. It's not about reaching a destination, but about enjoying the process. Each new word, each new sentence, is a step forward on this journey. I also discovered that it's important to stay curious. I would ask questions, look up new words, and try to understand how the language works. This curiosity helped me learn more and stay engaged with the language. Another thing that helped me was to practice listening. I would listen to English songs, podcasts, and videos. This helped me improve my listening skills and understand how native speakers talk. I also found that it's important to have fun while learning. I would play word games, watch funny videos, and read interesting stories in English. This made learning more enjoyable. One of my favorite memories is from a time when I was able to have a full conversation in English without any help. It felt like a big achievement, and it motivated me to keep going. I also learned that it's okay to take breaks sometimes. If I was feeling tired or frustrated, I would take a short break. After the break, I would come back to my studies feeling refreshed and ready to learn more. I also found that it's helpful to practice every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. Consistency is key when learning a new language. Another tip that helped me was to use flashcards. I would write new words on flashcards and review them throughout the day. This helped me remember the words better. I also discovered that it's important to stay positive. There were times when I felt like giving up, but I reminded myself that every step forward is progress, no matter how small. One of the best pieces of advice I received was to surround myself with English. Whether it's listening to music, reading books, or watching movies, being surrounded by English helped me learn faster. I also found that it's important to set realistic goals. Instead of trying to learn everything at once, I would focus on one thing at a time. This made learning more manageable and less overwhelming. Another thing that helped me was to practice speaking with native speakers. This was challenging at first, but it helped me improve my pronunciation and understanding. How the language is used in real conversations. I also learned that it's important to be patient with yourself. There will be times when you make mistakes or don't understand something, but that's okay. What's important is that you keep trying. One of my favorite quotes is, The only way to do great work is to love what you do. This quote reminds me to enjoy the process of learning English and to keep a positive attitude. I also found that it's helpful to practice writing in English, whether it's writing emails, notes, or even short stories. Writing helped me improve my grammar and vocabulary. Another tip that helped me was to watch English movies with subtitles. This helped me understand the dialogue and learn new words at the same time. I also discovered that it's important to stay consistent. Even if it's just a few minutes each day, practicing regularly helped me improve over time. One of the best memories I have 
is from a time when I was able to help someone else learn English. It felt great to be able to share what I had learned and see someone else make progress. I also learned that it's important to stay curious. I would ask questions, look up new words, and try to understand how the language works. This curiosity helped me learn more and stay engaged with the language. Another thing that helped me was to practice listening. I would listen to English songs, podcasts, and videos. This helped me improve my listening skills and understand how native speakers talk. I also found that it's important to have fun while learning. I would play word games, watch funny videos, and read interesting stories in English. This made learning more enjoyable. One of my favorite memories is from a time when I was able to have a full conversation in English without any help. It felt like a big achievement, and it motivated me to keep going. I also learned that it's okay to take breaks sometimes. If I was feeling tired or frustrated, I would take a short break. After the break, I would come back to my studies feeling refreshed and ready to learn more. I also found that it's helpful to practice every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. Consistency is key when learning a new language. Another tip that helped me was to use flashcards. I would write new words on flashcards and review them throughout the day. This helped me remember the words better. I also discovered that it's important to stay positive. There were times when I felt like giving up, but I reminded myself that every step forward is progress, no matter how small. One of the best pieces of advice I received was to surround myself with English. Whether it's listening to music, reading books, or watching movies, being surrounded by English helped me learn faster. I also found that it's important to set realistic goals. Instead of trying to learn everything at once, I would focus on one thing at a time. This made learning more manageable and less overwhelming. Another thing that helped me was to practice speaking with native speakers. This was challenging at first, but it helped me improve my pronunciation and understand how the language is used in real conversations. I also learned that it's important to be patient with yourself. There will be times when you make mistakes or don't understand something, but that's okay. What's important is that you keep trying. One of my favorite quotes is, The only way to do great work is to love what you do. This quote reminds me to enjoy the process of learning English and to keep a positive attitude. I also found that it's helpful to practice writing in English, whether it's writing emails, notes, or even short stories. Writing helped me improve my grammar and vocabulary. Another tip that helped me was to watch English movies with subtitles. This helped me understand the dialogue and learn new words at the same time. I also discovered that it's important to stay consistent. Even if it's just a few minutes each day, practicing regularly helped me improve over time. One of the best memories I have is from a time when I was able to help someone else learn English. It felt great to be able to share what I had learned and see someone else make progress. I also learned that it's important to keep a positive mindset. There will be challenges along the way, but staying positive and believing in yourself is key to success. Another thing that helped me was to practice speaking out loud. Even if I was alone, I would practice speaking in English. 
This helped me become more comfortable with the language. I also found that it's helpful to listen to English songs. The lyrics helped me learn new words, and the music made learning more enjoyable. I once read a quote that said, The only limit to our realization of tomorrow is our doubts of today. This quote reminded me to stay confident and keep pushing forward. I also learned that it's important to practice regularly. Even if it's just a few minutes each day, consistency is key when learning a new language. Another tip that helped me was to surround myself with English. Whether it was reading books, watching movies, or listening to music, being immersed in the language helped me learn faster. I also found that it's helpful to keep a journal in English. Writing down my thoughts and experiences helped me practice writing and improve my grammar. I also discovered that it's important to be patient with yourself. Learning a new language takes time, and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. One of my favorite memories is from a time when I was able to help someone else learn English. It felt great to share what I had learned and see someone else make progress. I also learned that it's important to set goals. Whether it's learning a new word each day or finishing a book in English, setting goals helped me stay focused and motivated. Another thing that helped me was to practice speaking with native speakers. This was challenging at first, but it helped me improve my pronunciation and understand how the language is used in real conversations. I also found that it's helpful to stay positive. There will be challenges along the way, but staying positive and believing in yourself is key to success. One of my favorite quotes is, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. This quote reminds me to enjoy the process of learning English and to keep a positive attitude. I also discovered that it's important to practice listening. Whether it's listening to English songs, podcasts, or videos, practicing listening helped me improve my comprehension skills. Another tip that helped me was to use flashcards. Writing down new words and reviewing them throughout the day helped me remember them better. I also found that it's helpful to practice speaking out loud. Even if I was alone, speaking in English helped me become more comfortable with the language. One of the best pieces of advice I received was to surround myself with English. Whether it's reading books, watching movies, or listening to music, being immersed in the language helped me learn faster. I also learned that it's important to set realistic goals. Instead of trying to learn everything at once, focusing on one thing at a time made learning more manageable and less overwhelming. Another thing that helped me was to practice speaking with native speakers. This was challenging at first, but it helped me improve my pronunciation and understand how the language is used in real conversations. I also discovered that it's important to stay curious. Asking questions, looking up new words, and trying to understand how the language works kept me engaged and motivated to learn more. One of my favorite memories is from a time when I was able to have a full conversation in English without any help. It felt like a big achievement and motivated me to keep going. I also found that it's helpful to practice writing in English, whether it's writing emails, notes, or even short stories. Writing helped me improve my grammar and vocabulary. Another tip that helped me was to watch English movies with subtitles. This helped me understand the dialogue and learn new words at the same time.
I also discovered that it's important to stay consistent. Even if it's just a few minutes each day, practicing regularly helped me improve over time. One of the best memories I have is from a time when I was able to help someone else learn English. It felt great to share what I had learned and see someone else make progress. I also learned that it's important to keep a positive mindset. There will be challenges along the way, but staying positive and believing in yourself is key to success. Another thing that helped me was to practice speaking out loud. Even if I was alone, speaking in English helped me become more comfortable with the language. I also found that it's helpful to listen to English songs. The lyrics helped me learn new words, and the music made learning more enjoyable. I once read a quote that said, the only limit to our realization of tomorrow is our doubts of today. This quote reminded me to stay confident and keep pushing forward. I also learned that it's important to practice regularly. Even if it's just a few minutes each day, consistency is key when learning a new language. Another tip that helped me was to surround myself with English, whether it was reading books, Watching movies or listening to music, being immersed in the language, helped me learn faster. I also found that it's helpful to keep a journal in English. Writing down my thoughts and experiences helped me practice writing and improve my grammar. I also discovered that it's important to be patient with yourself. Learning a new language takes time, and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. One of my favorite memories is from a time when I was able to help someone else learn English. It felt great to share what I had learned and see someone else make progress. I also learned that it's important to set goals. Whether it's learning a new word each day or finishing a book in English, setting goals helped me stay focused and motivated. Another thing that helped me was to practice speaking with native speakers. This was challenging at first, but it helped me improve my pronunciation and understand how the language is used in real conversations. I also found that it's helpful to stay positive. There will be challenges along the way, but staying positive and believing in yourself is key to success. One of my favorite quotes is, The only way to do great work is to love what you do. This quote reminds me to enjoy the process of learning English and to keep a positive attitude. I also discovered that it's important to practice listening, whether it's listening to English songs, podcasts, or videos, practicing listening helped me improve my comprehension skills. Another tip that helped me was to use flashcards. Writing down new words and reviewing them throughout the day helped me remember them better. I also found that it's helpful to practice speaking out loud. Even if I was alone, speaking in English helped me become more comfortable with the language. One of the best pieces of advice I received was to surround myself with English. Whether it's reading books, watching movies, or listening to music, being immersed in the language helped me learn faster. I also learned that it's important to set realistic goals. Instead of trying to learn everything at once, focusing on one thing at a time made learning more manageable and less overwhelming. Another thing that helped me was to practice speaking with native speakers. This was challenging at first, but it helped me improve my pronunciation and understand how the language is used in real conversations. I also discovered that it's important to stay curious. Asking questions, looking up new words, and trying to understand how the language works 
kept me engaged and motivated to learn more. One of my favorite memories is from a time when I was able to have a full conversation in English without any help. It felt like a big achievement and motivated me to keep going. I also found that it's helpful to practice writing in English, whether it's writing emails, notes, or even short stories. Writing helped me improve my grammar and vocabulary. Another tip that helped me was to watch English movies with subtitles. This helped me understand the dialogue and learn new words at the same time. I also discovered that it's important to stay consistent. Even if it's just a few minutes each day, practicing regularly helped me improve over time. One of the best memories I have is from a time when I was able to help someone else learn English. It felt great to share what I had learned and see someone else make progress. I also learned that it's important to keep a positive mindset. There will be challenges along the way, but staying positive and believing in yourself is key to success. Another thing that helped me was to practice speaking out loud. Even if I was alone, speaking in English helped me become more comfortable with the language.